Hey there, everybody. P. Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to yet another episode of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. It's Wednesday, new release day, new album review day here on the channel. Thanks for joining us for yet another one. We're firing on all cylinders today, and we're going to take a look at a very cool one that just came out recently on Nuclear Blast Records. It is the latest release from Norwegian black metal giants immortal war against all check out that album cover this follows up uh, northern chaos gods which came in and completely kicked my ass back in 2018 five years ago and right, of course that was the first album released by the band after abath left the band demon oz now back playing guitar and singing for the first time in ages on that album alongside long-standing drummer Horg. Of course, there was the big legal battle between Abath and Demon Oz, and Demon Oz eventually won the rights to use the immortal name. And then, lo and behold, after that, after Northern Chaos Gods comes out a couple years later, he gets into a legal battle with Horg, the drummer, over the rights to the name, and Demon Oz, of course, continues to win this particular battle. So now it's basically kind of like a one-man show. It's basically like uh, Demon Oz is immortal, Let's take a look at the CD here. As we pop the disc out, because you got to got to get a load of that, right? There he is, right? He's got his Gibson SG, which you can't really see, but you can see the SG insignia there, right? So here's the album. You got all the lyrics. Looks like a black metal album, right? As you can see, you do get one instrumental, right? There's no no lyrics there. Uh, in the band right now, basically, like I said, it's Demon Oz on vocals, guitars, uh, on drums, Kevin Caval, 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 okay, he's a guy who's been in the black metal scenes with another band as well, plays drums on the album, and then bass and additional guitars by Arve Istal, otherwise known as Ice Dale, of course, guitar player from uh, Enslaved, right, he's helping out here as well. And uh, he also did the production on this album. So the last album, you have Peter Todgren working on the production. Here you got uh, Ice Dale from Enslaved helping out here. Uh, what does the album sound like? It's what you'd expect from Immortal. I mean, I you know, Northern Chaos Gods was like my favorite release of 2018. I just absolutely loved it. I thought it was just such a great return to form by the band, a band that many of us thought would be left for dead after Abath left, but that was not the case at all. It was like a pleasant surprise to hear Demon Oz coming back, playing guitars and singing, and just sounded great writing all the songs. You know he's for you know he had a uh, an issue with his with his arm or his hands that's why he stopped playing guitar in the band many many years ago and he's better now and he's fine and he always was helping out with the songwriting but so that never really changed but man he's just once again cranking out the riffs on this album it sounds like an immortal album he's got those raspy vocals that we've known come to love uh since the last album and again it just sounds like vintage immortal the production you know for uh, that's the one thing about immortal especially on you know the last five six or seven albums you know maybe not the first one or two uh they've always had like this really forceful big kind of clean production as opposed to lots of other black metal bands where it's just very raw and dingy production the production value is always really good on an immortal album this is no exception it's just big it's in your face it's immense the the riffs are ice cold the drums are blasting away and his vocals just kind of shred you right there's just the, the gravelly raspy vocals of demon oz so uh it starts off with war against all and it's a very short album it's only like 30 38 minutes or something like that i think all told it's just under 40 minutes. Yeah, 3807 in total. Uh, and most of the songs are fairly short. The, the longest the, the longest two is the uh, the instrumental, Nordland here, which is probably uh, Norwegian for Northlander. Um, Nor Nordland here. That's seven minutes and change in the last track, uh, Blashrik, My Throne. Okay, most of their songs are about this fabled land of Blashrik, however you say it, Blashkir, Blashrik, I never know how to say that. Uh, and that track is just about uh, six minutes long. Everything else is three, four minutes, just what you need. But War Against All, the title track, just pulls you right in. Then you got Thunders of Darkness, which is killer. War God is excellent, man, the crushing riffs in that song, so good. Then you got No Sun and Return to Cold. Both of those are, again, that, that kind of icy, cold, atmospheric black metal that Immortal is known for. You got lots of thrashy moments on here, especially on, again, hard to believe in all the years they've been around that they've never done a song called Immortal. Well, 
You get one of the, you get Immortal on here, and it's a killer classic black metal meets thrash, just juggernaut, so good. And like I said, I really like the uh, the the long instrumental. I think is really well done as well. Yeah, this is really good. It's really good. I I mean, Immortal is basically has been my favorite black metal band for a long, long time. And I just uh, no matter what they do, I always really enjoy it. And again, it's just basically Demon Oz here with a couple friends helping out. But it just it still sounds so much like Immortal for me. And I've just I played this over and over again. And uh, every time I'm just enjoying it more and more. Is it as kind of impactful as Northern Chaos Gods? I don't think it quite is yet for me. That one just hit me like a sledgehammer from the very first listen. It just never let up for the whole year. Uh, but that being said, I'm still loving this quite a bit. I'm going to give this 4.5 out of 5 star. Excellent. Excellent. You can't go wrong. If you're a fan, you're going to love this. Um, I'm seeing like all sorts, you know, you go out and you read reviews on, out on the internet and, and all the metal sites and everything. I think most of the sites are praising this quite a bit, some to a little more degrees than others. I've only seen like one or two negative reviews. Uh, and I think just to some people, it's just kind of like, all right, it's another Immortal album. It sounds like Immortal. They're not giving us anything new. Yeah, but really, have they ever, right? I mean, it's just you either like this sort of thing or you don't, right? So I don't know. I, I really like it a lot. So. That is my review, War Against All from Immortal. If you've heard it, let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if this is not really your thing, well, then don't know why you're watching this. But uh, anyway, I guess you can't tell me too much about it then. But if you are a fan and maybe just haven't listened to it yet, go out and check it out. If you're at all interested in this type of thrashy black metal and never really uh, experimented much at all, I would say Immortal is a great place to start. Go give this a listen. Let us know what you think. And... Uh, this is on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together. All the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also, we've got the links below uh, to um, our Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page. I'm doing a lot of talking today. I'm already uh, tongue-tied. And uh, our merch page. Those links are below. So thanks in advance for all your contributions. And we'll see you uh, coming up on Friday. At the Fun House with Martin Popoff will be our next program. I believe that will be the last uh, new album review you're going to get this week. Stay tuned next week. you got more stuff. Got the brand new one from Bang. Great 70s heavy rock band. Are back with a new album after all these years. Uh, I've got uh, Cool Pink Floyd Live in Montreal 1970. i got the brand new Midnight Callers. Brand new Tanith. New Neil Sean Journey Through Time. Big Big Train. M. Opus. St. Damon. Uh, Elvin King. Uh, Scar Symmetry, Pas Pascanel, um, New Anibus Gate, all sorts of stuff. Man, a couple new Inside Out. I got the new uh, Einar uh, Solberg, singer from Leprous. I got all sorts of stuff. To just, just trying to find enough time to listen to everything so I can talk to you guys about it. So uh, don't touch that dial. we got more stuff coming up here on Sea Tranquility, and we'll see you real soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.